Well, after this, this family is going to be known for human trafficking and human exploitation. Um, they were not charged for human trafficking, but they did get accused of it. The courts dropped that, but they did charge, uh, convict them with human exploitation for stealing the passports of workers that they had brought over and only paying them one-tenth of the uh, wages that they were uh, that they are required to pay uh, what like seven seven pounds uh, for 18 hour work that is insane the UK's richest family whose estimated net worth is 37 billion pounds was on trial for human exploitation the owners of the Hinduja Group, an international group with 200,000 employees, brought over three domestic workers from India to their Geneva mansion and allegedly paid them as little as seven pounds for 18-hour workdays. That is less than one-tenth of the amount required by Swiss law. Prosecutors accused the Hindujas of taking away the workers' passports and spending more money on their dog than on their domestic staff. Lawyers represent... Wow, so they stole their passports, preventing them from being able to leave because they knew what they were doing was wrong. Uh, I'd be surprised if there was physical abuse involved in this family against the domestic workers. Um, and spending more money than the wages you're willing to give to workers shows like how little they see of other people around them when they won't even pay their workers an actual wage. What they were doing is basically enslaving these people so they see people as lesser than what they see their pets. Presenting 79-year-old tycoon Prakash Hinduja and his wife Kamal denied the allegations. I firmly believe that they should have been acquitted, but the shock will pass. We'll recover quickly and go all the way and take the case to the federal court and even to the European Court of Human Rights. They were acquitted on... Okay, you go to the, the European Court of Human Rights, you tell the judge there that your client took the power of the, the, of the domestic workers and then only paid them one-tenth of what Swiss law dictates that they're supposed to be paid and you think they're going to roll in the favor of your client? That is insane on earlier charges of human trafficking on the grounds that the staff had willingly come to Switzerland. The Swiss court sentenced Prakash and wife Kamal to four and... Well, it's kind of, in my opinion, it's kind of iffy on that. I mean, they were pretty much tricked into working for these people. They probably thought they were going to get paid an actual wage, not have their passports stolen, and only paid one-tenth. To half years in prison and son AJ with wife Namrata. To